so uh, this is brought or one uh, reviews Tibu so today I don't have the vacuum with me and the truck is in my house but I, you'll see what, what I'm talking about right about now because I got a smart vacuum well not so smart but uh, it's it was free I won it as well um, on the game called Fishland on Timu and I hustled my way and earned it or won it or whatever and here's my take on it you can see now the box is pretty simple you know I'm gonna uh, you, you'll see the specs as well it's a very you know it's a cheap vacuum let's be honest I'm not gonna I'm sorry I'm not gonna be like saying this the best thing or whatever I'm not gonna lie not exaggerate I want to be the most transparent I can with all with with y'all so if you're currently playing for this go for it if you're uh, wanting to buy it's cheap but I saw the team has other options so maybe check the other options but this is my take on this one specifically it's pretty good for what it is I mean it's free I mean come on uh, it, it actually picks up a lot of dust the, the vacuum itself the little motor has been having its own issues with some sort of magnetism or something to run but at least I, I um, was able to understand it and fix it um, it, it also mops you know it has the little mopping feature but eh, you know I ain't gonna lie it, it, it kind of sucks I mean the thing just got clogged up easily without even getting any you know like actual dirt I don't know why I just use water I was thinking about putting like um some odor liquid or oil in it so once it mops it leaves a good smell but I kind of got a little you know if I use chemicals or something and oh my god I'm I'm sorry I'm in the beach and there's a lot of people riding their um bicycles and and stuff wow anyway as I was saying um we should all just um focus that at least we have a a um you know the option to play for it and and earn it for free I don't know if you guys can see in the camera, there's a lot of bicycles going. So I'm guessing they have in a, you know, in a route with friends. That's nice. Anyway, um, the vacuum itself, I mean, the points of these videos is if I would recommend, you know, this is my take on it. Like I, like I said in, in another video you guys are going to see next week is that if you're looking for something to actually be good and cheap, this is a good consideration. It's not bad at all. It doesn't charge by itself. That's the biggest con. Because, uh, the, I mean, come on, the, the new ones, you know, they go to the charging uh, port and voila, they charge themselves, right? This one, it just starts beep, beep, and you gotta take it yourself from the floor. If you have a bad back like myself, you're screwed. So you gotta, <laughs> you gotta bend over, grab it. Uh, but still, cheap. And it's kind of reliable, so the word is cheap. I mean, some of us are trying to make a, a day's living, trying to get by. We don't want to be wasting 200, 300 on these expensive vacuums. If you can, go ahead. Perfect. God bless you, right? But if you're like me, you know, you saw Timo as a chance to get a few things that you could actually use. Not like little accessories to be flashing or whatever. Things that you could actually use. Uh, the vacuum is pretty decent. Now, let me be clear if you're looking to buy and your budget is like a hundred dollars search for another one because there's like one for 80 that actually charged himself and he actually has a better like vacuum motor how i believe so double check and um just you know just be sure what you're looking for you can actually play for the better one i think but Timo sometimes doesn't recommend it, so if you're willing just to pay for it, go ahead. And if, for, if you're going to play it, go ahead as well. I mean, that, that's up to you. And also, like I said in the title, uh, stay tuned for a clip that I actually uploaded in TikTok. Uh, I don't really like TikTok, but I still did it. Um, but in that video, I'm explaining what I did because I was, you know, uh, looking for the problem with the motor. And I actually found nothing because I... I I don't know. Then I just noticed it's just the motor has like a magnetism issue or the contact that makes it run. I don't know. I don't understand. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, just watch that video now. But like, subscribe if you did. 
and if you don't get out of here and anyway charlie's out so yeah um, I, i'm probably a, a dumbass but <laughs> i saw that the, the fan wasn't working so i was like oh my god and every time i touched it, it would try to ram you know to run so i thought it was dirt inside the fan and then i noticed that it works with like a pressure once you put the filter on top it'll start yeah but still i cleaned it and there was a lot of dust there's still some dust i gotta i gotta wipe out of this but if you have this model um i'm gonna give you a little tip it has a little hole right here like this this entire fan assembly you know you could disassemble it take it off or whatever and it has a hole right here i don't know the purpose of the hole maybe the hole does have a purpose but the dust once this thing is you know picking up dust and it you know comes through here and it gets into the little um you know the the filter box some of that still i know i know this have this piece probably um you see covers let me see oh my god this is a mess kind of covers where the hole should be but still i can imagine dust you know dust very thin it's probably still have a little bit of entry so then the entire vacuum will fill with dust as you can see so i, I just taped a little bit i'm gonna put this also this tape this piece of tape i'll put it right here as well you know like um like holding this together as well so i could at least be sure there's no dust gonna come inside or at least less because i imagine from this entire thing it's still gonna you know leak a little dust inside but it is what it is you know but yeah it's a little tip a little bonus to this video thanks for watching